Alright, hey guys, what's up? What I got for you today is just a little guide on a dungeon steering, I guess. But, uh, just so you guys know in advance, I might, like, fast forward through parts of this. Because I, like, I'm not talking or something, because there's not much to talk about. Basically, I'm just going to run you through this thing between, like, all the rounds, or, uh, the waves and monsters, or whatever you would call it. Every floor, I guess? I, I guess you would call it a floor. I don't think you would, though. Um, I'm just going to fast forward, so, uh... Yeah, basically, you just bring, like, magic. That's really all you need is just magic. And, uh, if you wanted to, you could bring I, I bring melee. Just because I like to use my AGS spec on the boss towards the end. And, um, over there, you'll see in the beginning where I just grab some food over there. There's some potions and, uh, these web snipper thingies. Those things are just food. And, uh, potions, of course. I bring one melee potion, so that way at the end, because there's a boss at the end, it's not hard, though. Like, it's really not that hard at all. But it does decrease your defense. Um, yeah, the boss is really. You just want to like clump these up though while you're doing this, and it's advised that you either use ice barge or blood barge. Now I haven't really seen the difference between either of them, but um, I've noticed that blood barge it hits more often, but the barge hits higher, like a lot higher. Um, and every time you go through this shit, you want to go through these uh, caskets to see what you get. Cause you get something random, you might get like, um, something like Primal, that'll hit like, fucking high shit. Or you'll get like, uh, some kind of staff. Most of the time though, you don't, you just get like a crabby little potion. But it is worth going through. And, some people have said that you, uh, don't get like, you don't get as much like, points or something like that, if you go through the caskets. But y you do, it doesn't affect you at all. Well, from what I've noticed anyways. So... Yeah, basically, it's just, this is really easy, like, when I first started it, I, I tried meleeing, you, you can't do it, you have to have magic, if you don't have magic, then you're probably not even gonna finish the whole thing, but if you were, like, solo, and you're just, like, here for XP or something, you could probably do it, I've only done this about four times, and I feel like I can go through the whole thing without any potions or anything like that, you know, um, I don't have any, like, Yo, know, my friends list is basically empty, I don't really have any friends at all, but, uh... Well, the way I made a team, because you get more points if you have a team, is... I just was hanging around pest control, or what they call dungeoneering on here, and I just, like, I spammed it. I'm just like, I need a team, I need a team, and... Join my clan chat if you want to make a team, and, like, two seconds later, two people just join, I'm like... Alright, let's go. I ended up adding one of them, because he's, like, fucking awesome. Um... But, uh, that's, that's how I got my team, if you don't have, like, friends online that'll want to play with you. Because, you, yeah. It's sometimes it's hard like that. Like, it's, it's a server, it's not real RuneScape, or it's not like, it's not like, I don't know, it's not like a skilling server where you're just, like, talking to people all the time, and you're like, hey, add me, and you're like, lol, raffle sauce, you know? Um, it's more just like a PKing server, I would guess. But... I end up making some friends here and there, but, um, as you see, my stats aren't, like, amazing or anything. I have 99 magic. I would suggest that you use Blood Barge, because it is a lot more accurate, plus it heals you. Luckily, I have a Spirit Shield on, so they don't really hit much on me, although the Divine Effect does not work. It doesn't work at all, but it still gives, like, 60% defense bonus, so it, like, stops them from hitting a, sh a shitload. They still hit a lot, though. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I thought I would make this guide for you guys. Make sure you like leave a comment if it helped you or if you fucking enjoyed watching. I don't know. Some people just watch my like my ooh, ooh, this is a good thing. If you got a staff like that from one of these boxes, make sure you fucking use it. And then use barge with it, and you'll hit so high. Oh wait, never mind. I said one there. My bad. Maybe not so high. But uh it's it's better than any staff. It's better than staff of light, the chaotic staff, whatever. Actually it might not be better than chaotic stock. I'm not sure though. Um, yeah, so that's why you go through the caskets, because sometimes you'll get something like this staff right here, or occasionally you'll get like a primal weapon, and the primal weapons are good on the last wave, or the last room, because the boss, you you should really think about meleeing it rather than maging it, because you'll be able to kill it a lot faster. Because the reason why you mage over here is because look at all these monsters, just clump them up and you mage them, look at all these hits constantly on them, you see? And look at that, look at that, it's just like spamming hits, I can't even see them all. And it kills it so, kills them all so much faster if you use mage. 
as opposed to melee, which is a single attack. And, um, yeah, as you'll see, I haven't even used any, like, prayer potions yet. I still have all four of mine, and I'm, I'm still not even dropped my prayer. If you are, like, a pure or something, then I would suggest you use some kind of, uh, um, well, at the beginning, you get a lot more food, and you don't bring any melee, and you, you team up with some mains, because it'll be a lot easier on you. Because your one defense, these things hit a lot. And when I, I literally mean a lot, like, they don't hit very high, but they'll hit, like, constant force and stuff. So, as you, I'm just going through the, like, I'm just, you know, commentating and stuff. You'll see it's really not that hard at all. It doesn't take much concentration or anything like that. All you do is you get, like, two, I mean, one or two. You can do it with either one or two uh, partners, but either way, you'll get uh, more XP and it'll be a lot faster and easier and stuff. And, uh, I think you get extra points, too. Um... Yeah, you basically just go in the room, you make sure that you're with your teammates and make sure that the monsters get all clumped up. And when they do, you just, you know, spam them with your blood barge or your ice barge, whatever one you want to use. But, um, yeah. I normally use blood barge because it's more accurate and it heals you, so I never really have to eat or anything. Although I probably, would, probably wouldn't have to eat in the first place. So, I don't know. It's basically personal preference, I guess. Let's see what I get from this chest. I just got a piece of food there, which I don't really need, so probably gonna just drop it. Yeah. Um, I really don't know what to say. I've never really made a guide before. I just kind of, I don't know. I always make like PK videos, but I never made a guide. Nor have I commentated in a long time. So sorry if I bore you, but yeah, this guide is just to let you know basically what to do. It is basically, this guy probably is just for the people that like never even done this before and just kind of want to know how to do it. Basically you just bring mage, multi-attack, and it's easy as that. You just go through it. It's like the easiest thing ever. I'm not sure, but I think this next wave is the boss. Oh, I was wrong. I was lying. Never mind. It's not. Alright. What's that? Uh, strong. I don't know what the difference between the strong one and the rejuvenation is. I think it just heals more. Or something like that. But yeah, just bring the mage and you'll dominate this. It's so easy. You do it like one or two times and it's just simple as that, you know. Um, I'm just really worry about. Alright, so let me kill this one. I'll go to the next stream. I think I'm gonna get to the boss soon, so I'm not gonna like fast forward through any of this or anything. Maybe it's, no, no it's not, never mind. I was lying again. Let's see, what else do you guys need to know? I don't think there's anything else you guys need to know. This is literally like the simplest thing ever. I know Dungeoneering kind of sounds weird, like there's like a bunch of crazy, confusing crap in it, but it's really just so easy. You know, no need to worry or anything. Especially our friends. If you're like soloing this, I think like solo is like better Dungeoneering XP or something because you get more damage or whatever. But, uh, I just like to do it with team, because I don't like to do it alone, I'll get, I get bored. Because normally, like right now I'm commentating and stuff, so I'm not really talking to either of them, but normally I like talk to them and stuff. I don't know. I thought I'd try something different. Because normally all I do is PK. I started the server, I think I have like, a total of like, three days played or something like that. And I started the server about, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something of that nature. And... I've just been like, I got my stats up to where I wanted them to be that one at one point, and then I just started PKing, and I made about, well my bank right now, I have like, I don't know, it's hard to tell what my bank is, I only have like a 40 or 50 mil cash pile right now, but I do have a divine and an ATS, um, and have like a bunch of borrows, so I'm not exactly sure, I'll have to do a bank check one time. I don't know, I enjoy doing this, and I, you get some pretty cool stuff, and when you get enough points, right now I'm trying to get an arcane stream, because like originally when I first started this, I I really wasn't worried about the reward shop or anything like that, so I was just kind of doing it for fun, or just doing it for something new to do, 
because there's not very really much different, you know, skills or uh, mini games in Battlescape. There's basically clan wars, and it gets old after a while. So I thought, why not do this? You know? And uh, I think I have like 400 points something. You know, I'm halfway to getting the uh, the blast necklace or whatever you have to do to get the arcane. Because it, uh, you have to buy two necklaces before you can actually get the arcane stream. And I think. Oh wait, this is the boss. This is the boss. All right, I'll stop talking there. And as you'll see, right now we're all gonna pull out melee. I bet you more than anything, these other guys are gonna pull out their melee. Yeah, he did. He didn't, but the other guy did. All right, now you're gonna pray melee, and you're gonna use whatever spec weapons you have. It really doesn't matter. You're, the base, basically, the point is trying to uh, kill him as fast as possible because he does stun you, and it, I think, it lowers your defense. Ooh, six way for the win. Never mind. Don't even forget I even said that. <laughs> oh, I think that there's different bosses every time. I'm not exactly sure. Like I can't because like the one before this, it lowered my defense or something. So I think it's different every time. But it's fairly easy. I don't even know why I made it. Fail switching, so that I don't know. Don't know why I did a fake switch there. Shut up. <laughs> like fake switch. And you'll see this is like I ran through this whole thing in under nine, or I mean around nine minutes. Maybe it was closer to the ten. I can't. I know I wasn't timing this, so I don't know. Um, yeah, under ten minutes and. This is the uh, stuff I got from it. So, yeah, if you like this guide, if you enjoyed hearing my voice, then just leave a like or leave a comment. I don't really care. But uh, I'm doing this all the time, so if you start doing this, if you see my guide yeah, and I'm online, just fucking hit me up and I'll, I'll join your clan chat or you can join mine or whatever.